Welcome Gemini, Rose Burnett here and this is an energy reading. It is going to be timeless. So whenever you're watching this, it's the perfect time for you. I just felt like we needed it, yeah? And if you're brand new to my channel or follow me regularly, awesome to have you here. And uh, if you want to get my videos through to your feed, make sure to hit the subscribe button and join our community. And uh, we are going to dive in. Now this is a general reading, so trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. If you want a personal reading, they are open. I've only just recently reopened them, doing them a couple of days a week. So if you want to get a reading attuned to your own specific energy questions, reach out. I'll put the link on here and info down below. You'll also find my beautiful merch down below, lots of gorgeous uh, journals and task planners with my art on the cover and anything else you need to know down below. All right, so we're pulling you essential energy from the beautiful Sacred Power Oracle. Let's see what you need to know, Gemini. Oh, you've got two here. Mm, wow, okay. I'll pull them out separately, right? So first up, you've got sound. So sound is going to be very healing at this time. So I know that he's kind of expressing sound out. So that may, may mean that you need to purge yourself of some emotions or frustrations. So you might want to do some lion's breath roars or some... <sighs> you know, that meditation, hard to express, yeah? It can mean doing things around sound, like listening to music, playing music, sound therapy, guided meditation. It's going to be very soothing on your energies at this time. Um, it's coming out hand in hand with abundance. So there's abundance coming your way, my love. It's beautiful abundance. What have you been working on? It's bringing in this gorgeous abundance. Nice. All right, we're going to have a look at four key areas of focus for you, but we're going to be using for a change the Nature's Whispers Oracle. Oh, you've got assurance, which is divine protection over you at this time. Mm -hmm. There's all these angels wrapped around the trunk of this tree. And you pull culmination of vision. So whatever you've been working on is coming together, Spirit saying. Lots of butterflies there representing transformation, new beginnings. But for a lot of you, you've been working on a plan, particularly around your finances, your career for quite some time. And you've also got the message to seek beauty. So taking time out for self, doing some practices that are around self-love, self-nurturing, pampering. You've been really busy, Gemini, and Spirit's saying you need to take some time for self. Can also mean creating an oasis at home to relax in. And I need to lighten up, have some fun, get tapping into that inner child of yours. Not so serious. Mm -hmm. Just add that up some crystals. Let's pull you some clarifiers with the energy oracle. First up, let's have a look at assurance, which is divine protection over you. Oh, you've got man holding a coin. So, guys, there's certainly protection over your coin at this time, your financial security, stability. You've got the door to spirit opening. So much here about spirit watching over you. And you've got lots of doors that want to open for you. There's lots of choices, Gemini, in terms of your life path, opportunities you want to take up. Either you're opening those doors or they're being opened for you. Oh, okay. And some of you have got a broken heart here. I'm pretty sure it came through in the last reading. So there's some heart healing to do. Why is the broken heart here? Okay, for some of you, you've got the angel of love coming in. So whatever you've been through in terms of disappointment in the past, so particularly with this realized, um, is speaking directly to singles. Those of you separated, divorced, or just single, is that there is the opportunity to open the door to love. It's going to come knocking on your door if you're going to allow yourself to open that door. And you've also got your community here. So there's a lot of friendship and support around you. can mean going out with your friends, yeah? Put yourself back into that dating pool, but very gently with your friendships. All right, let's have a look at this culmination of vision. Okay. Got the thinking woman here, so being very practical, grounded, having a solid plan to move yourself forward, girls. And you've got the angel of balance. So whatever you're doing, Gemini, it needs to be in balance with your energy. Don't overdo it. 
Otherwise, you're just going to stress yourself out. All right, it's two that want to come out. Yeah. There's an attachment here. It's directly related to this broken heart because it's come out with woman holding a heart. Yeah. So, girls, there's certainly some stuff from the past that you still is sitting in your heart chakra you need to cut the cords and ties to to release yourself, to open yourself up to love. Mm hmm All right, let's have a look at Seek Beauty. You've got your solar plexus chakra here, so there's a need for you to build up your vitality. Rest, rejuvenate. You've also got your emotions here, which I'm not surprised. So some of you definitely need to clear whatever is. This message resonated with you that you've gone through something challenging that's hurt your heart chakra. It's about releasing it from self. Not going to affect everyone. You've also got financial constraints here. So there is certainly some worry around your finances. And yet Spirit's saying they're divinely watching over you in terms of your coin. And you've got your throat chakra here. So if you need help, Spirit's saying ask for it. Let's have a look at these financial constraints. Oh, you've got the door to personal healing and happiness only. So you will overcome them. Because what Spirit's saying is what is most important for you at this time is to try and put that worry around your financial stability a bit to the side gemini because it's much more important right now that you focus on your health and well-being all right let's have a look at laughter mm. there's a need for you to take action move yourself forward don't get stuck in any states of procrastination or holding yourself stuck and there's these beautiful caring connections in your life for those of you partnered up there's definitely a divine pair here mm-hmm Okay, and there's deceit sitting underneath it. Oh, far out. Far out, my loves. Oof. Mm. Okay. I'm going to hold the heart chakra here. Some of you that are in a committed partnership or have been in a committed partnership before, there's been cheating that's been going on. You know about it. I'm not speaking to those that don't know about it. You know about it, right? It's still sitting in your heart chakra, even though you, I think some of you are still together with this person and you've worked through your differences, but that deceit is still sitting there, lying there, like just this solid. Mm. So in some way, for those of you that this message resonates with, you're going to have to get that out of your heart chakra, whatever way you can, in a very healthy way. Yeah. Because you've also got envy sitting here, so there's a bit of lack. Mm. Spirit's saying to have patience with yourself. For others, you were in a committed partnership, which is now you're now single, right? Um, some of you have, have have worked through your differences with this deception that's gone on and you're still together. Um, for others, it's really having patience with yourself to move through the processes of grief and healing. And you pulled the magician in the mirror, so you've got everything within you to overcome it, Spirit's saying. Mm. you just got to focus on getting in your higher states of consciousness. This is the crown chakra. Do your spiritual practices. Do those things that inspire you, motivate you, also with a big focus on looking after your physical health and well-being. All right, let's put some guidance from the goddess guidance deck. Okay, that's flying out. This is all about assurance, yeah? Taking a bit of time for self. Mm -hmm. Spirit watching over you, lots of doors that want to open. You're feeling very sensitive and vulnerable right now. So... It's about protecting your emotions and your energy mm. and to really appreciate how amazing you are. This is your Aphrodite energy, whether you're a guy or a girl. Self-care activities, getting out, doing a, going out with your friends, focusing on you, particularly singles. Oh, here it comes, the divine karmic justice. Mm -hmm. Like a little sledgehammer, really. Yes, my loves. There will be divine karmic justice in this situation. You will come out on top without having to do anything apart from just be your beautiful self. Mm -hmm. Open up and clear out these energies that have hurt you. Open up to love. Don't close off to love because you deserve a beautiful love. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at culmination of vision where spirits saying you need to be balanced and very practical. Yeah. Oh, there is going to be this beautiful renewal of peace in your world. I mean, there's also a woman holding a heart here that's got to release these attachments. So there will be a renewal of peace. Any other guidance there? 
Yeah, and you've got a very bright future ahead, particularly around your career and your finances. All right, let's have a look at Seek Beauty, which is really focusing on you. Daughter, personal healing and happiness. Oh, darlings. You got Mother Mary, expect a miracle. Just know your prayers have been heard. They are being answered. Oh, yes. Okay, let's have a look at laughter. There's a, a couple over here. Spirit saying you've got everything within you to overcome any deception that's gone on in your life. You've got issue or medicine woman. So some of you definitely got some healing powers within you if you want to tap into them. And you've got Sedna, infinite supply. Your material needs are going to be looked after for today and all your tomorrows. So stop worrying, Spirit saying. Uh, that is the universe behind you. Mm, and to trust your wisdom, see the truth in situations, how you contributed to situations, how somebody else contributed, um, not to get stuck too much in your emotions. All right. Let's put you some guidance from the crystal reading deck. Having a look at this top row, we're spirit saying they're all over you in terms of watching over you. Karmic justice coming in. All right, you've got Brazilian flexibility. So just being very flexible and patient with how quickly things happen or don't happen. And you've also put in, pulled new might healer. Some of you may need to seek a healer around your emotions, I'm going to say. Others have a gift of healing. Let's have a look at this culmination of vision coming in your bright future. Mm. You've got Colpite Rites of Passage absolutely coming into your own and you've got your ancestors watching over you from the other side. So much protection. Let's have a look at Seek Beauty, which is very much a big focus on you looking after yourself and your miracle sitting here. Oh, yeah, okay. So a miracle coming in for some of you that have been really disappointed in love is a beautiful new soulmate coming in for you, soulmate contract. But Spirit's saying you need to get yourself into balance to be ready for it, yeah? Otherwise we attract somebody who's not our mirrored soulmate, right? Well, we'll mirror each other but in a negative way versus a positive way. And in terms of laughter, you've got fire agate, your creativity, which is often your inner child, doing things that are creative. And you've got an Azure Eye expanded awareness, looking at things from a different perspective. Um, it's mostly in relation to this disappointing experience over here. Yeah, if you do that, you're going to have success. So it's about shifting how you're looking at a situation, looking at it from either being a blessing that that person or that situation's left your life, right, which means that, one, it can't affect you anymore, but what did you learn from it or what did you need to learn from it, whether it's to trust yourself more make better choices for yourself or express yourself, your boundaries better maybe. Sometimes, you know, we have no control over how other people behave, my loves. We don't. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Messenger Oracle. You've got to embrace the masculine spirit saying. So this is your strength. Putting healthy boundaries in place with people, stepping into your empowerment, your personal power, not letting people walk all over you, Gemini, which I don't think you do, to be honest. But there is certainly a person where you haven't stood up for yourself enough. Ooh, and you've got to observe in silence, the sly fox. Oh, if you haven't gone through this situation, you feel like it's coming into your world. It's to really quietly observe the body language of people changes in behavior mm -hmm. I'll show it to you you've also got need and necessity so at this time those of you worrying about your finances is all you got to do is worry about your food on the table your bills getting paid that's it at this time right you're going to be okay you don't need all the luxury items right now it's just focusing on getting through right now because things are going to turn around for you yeah, wow. I've got that owl. See the truth. Directly related to this deception. Don't sugarcoat it. Also take responsibility for self, right, in terms of how you showed up in relationships because that can often trigger others. It's not putting the blame on you, but we all show up in unhealthy ways in relationship based on our karmic patterning and, you know, relationship patterning. Oh, yeah. Also recognise what's no longer serving you that you need to release. All right, let's have a look at your chakras. Oh, you've got your family here. So important to spend time with family, connect with family. 
those people that are positive and loving. You've got the ego here, which is representing attachments to ego. Uh, definitely from things from the past. And journaling would be really good to journal out your feelings. All right, let's have a look at your spirit guidance, which is so much here about spirit watching over you. Oh, you're going through a spiritual awakening right now from one state of being to another. More connectedness to your angels, your spirit guides, your divine gifts and talents. Oh, your angels are absolutely watching over you, my loves. Oh, so much protection. And connect with Mother Earth, Gaia. It's going to be very soothing on your energy. All right, let's pull your message from your healing angels. Positive outcome. The sun is about to burst through the clouds and you will soon see things in a different light. Something that seemed previously hopeless will soon be filled with nothing but hope. Oh, that's nice. All right, we're going to pull your final energy from the beautiful Heart and Soul Oracle. Let's see what you need to know, Gemini. Mm, this one's come out. She's very reflective. Almost looks like she's had a little bit of a cry, dare I say. She's surrounded by pink blossoms. Well, it says it's time to step into your power and create an enchanted world. It can be if you want it to be. For just as the oak tree is hidden in its seed, so too is the god or goddess hidden within you. Reason devoid of feeling is simply harsh judgment. So listen to your heart and move beyond the boundaries you've placed around yourself. So what does that mean? So even though you've gone through challenging life experiences, right, it's not about building so many walls around yourself that you don't let other people in, you don't open up to love again, you don't go after what it is that you want in terms of your goals, your dreams, your passions, right? It's about releasing yourself from those walls you've placed around yourself. Mm-hmm. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Love to hear your feedback, your comments down below. Join our community. Hit that subscribe button. Reach out if you feel like you need a personal reading. Info on here and down below. Take it easy, my loves, for now. Much love, much light. Namaste.